Hey, Future Will here. Real quick before we start watching this reaction. Uh, so the recording's a little bit weird. I have blue light reduction on my monitor and because I was capturing my desktop, uh, that comes through when we're watching the trailer. So don't worry, your monitor isn't uh, messed up. It's just my blue light reduction thing. Sorry, couldn't fix it easily, but yeah. Anyway, enjoy the reaction. All right. So Nintendo has a direct today where they're going to show more of Super Mario Wonder. I almost went to bed, and I completely forgot about it, to be honest. So, I got back up, <laughs> I pressed go live, and here we are. So, if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking the video, and yeah. It's going to start in a minute, so I'm going to swap from this waiting room screen that I had going whilst we were waiting. Alright, uh, it's here, and we're just, yeah. Waiting now. HD. All right, cool. Um, volume is going to be the volume. It's on max, I believe. Yes. All right. So it is what it is. This game looks like a lot of fun. Um, visually, it, it looks great. I love the art direction that we saw last time it was revealed. And um, I mean, it's been confirmed. This is going to be the first Mario game without Charles. So I'm going to listen to the voice. It did sound a little bit different the first time I heard it, but I didn't really put my finger on it, really. But um, when the WarioWare game was shown off, Wario's voice definitely sounded different to me. And yeah, I guess that's why. All right, here we go. Ooh, so exciting. Is, is, is that in game or is... Welcome no, that... to the Flower Kingdom. A not so distant land just beyond the Mushroom Kingdom. Look at how visually nice Mario this looks. And friends were invited here by the benevolent Prince Florian. But Bowser, the king of the Koopas, had other plans. With just a single touch of the mysterious Wonder oh, Power. Bowser Jr. is here. Whoa. With what Prince the? <laughs> oh my god. This is insane already and I love it. Listen to that music as well. Cool, so Bowser became a castle. Wow. So he can warp reality. Now it's up to Mario and friends to stop Bowser and save the Flower Kingdom. I mean, oh look, look who's back. In this presentation, <laughs> we'll go over what's new. This is why I'm so excited for this game. Just look at all the insanity. The Super Mario Brothers Wonder Game. Let's jump in. Oh, and the music as well, this, this happy the music. Flower Kingdom. It's made up of six distinct worlds that circle the Petal Isles. Only six, huh? Seven areas to explore. Okay, seven. Your adventure begins among the tubular hills of Pipe Rock Plateau. Oh my god, they use the word tubular. <laughs> Once you get past the freezing foot of the mountain, you'll be aiming for new heights in Fluff Puff Peaks. Many trials await amidst the picturesque scenery and radiant cascades of shining falls. Traverse multiple islands. Okay. Sea, that looks like a standard water level. Through caves at the heart of the Flower Kingdom, the Petal Isles. There's also an area I'm loving how to, how much more as as colorful the, the animations are. An uncanny forest lined with giant mushrooms, a scorching hot world full of molten magma, and more. A rich variety of courses await in each world. Move around the map in each world to select a course. You can even walk freely through open areas you find. In these spaces, if you're not quite ready to take on a particular course, you can try a different one instead. Play them in any order All right, you so, like. I mean, that's more of a, like, Kirby thing, though. Course, you can quickly come back to it through the course's menu. 
it's an easy way to find the ones you want to play again. While in courses, you might notice some talking flowers. Yeah, here we go. The crazy upgrades. Onward and upward. How'd you get up here? What a pretty sunset. They'll talk to you. Oh man, I love that effect. Adventure. I wonder what Goombas taste like. They might give you hints. Wonder if you can get over there. Mm. You'd share your water with me? I'll have to see more of that. <laughs> You know how I am when it comes to talking assistance, chat. Luigi. Peach. Daisy. Oh man, look at how colorful they are. And Toadette. They all play the same, so go with your favorite or mix it up. That's cool. I mean, I I did appreciate it though. Won't take damage. They're a great choice if you're looking for an easygoing experience. Children mode. I mean, that's nice. Still lose a life if they fall down a pit. So watch your step. Additionally, it's fine. Yoshi's can flutter jump, eat objects. Whoa, that sounded different. Enemies. Oh my god, they've changed Speaking Yoshi's flutter sound. Here are some of the new ones you'll find. It's no longer. <laughs> it's, <laughs> jump when you jump. it's so different. Melon piranha plants will spit seeds from their mouths. I kind of like the new sound. Condarts will fly at you and stick their beaks where they don't belong. What I was going to say is I kind of appreciate attack, the characters when they have their own distinct characteristics, you know, Monsies like Luigi jumping higher. If you position yourself just but right. I mean, this is fine. Mamas will eat anything that comes too close to their gaping mouths. Oh, wow. There are plenty <laughs> more new enemies. <laughs> They're like you to weird dogs. Well. Goombas. Koopa Troopas. Yeah, Goose, yeah, yeah. The usual cast. Lucky Twos and other familiar foes are also here. Okay, here we go. W drill. Let's, let's um. The new power ups you can find. What is that? In elephant form, make the most of your nose <laughs> and your size. <laughs> oh Swing man. Trunk to attack enemies, destroy blocks, and even do this. That's kind of cool. Form, you can easily break through blocks and dash across large gaps. See? Okay. If you store water in your trunk and spray it out, who knows what might happen? Thank you. That trunk sure is useful, huh? It's not just Mario, though. <laughs> Luigi, <laughs> the Toads. <laughs> oh, this is great. Peach, Daisy, and Toad. Oh, my God. Elephant forms as well. The fucking Luigi transformation into the elephant just got me. Bubbles. They can be Bubble? used to capture and defeat enemies from a distance. They'll also drift toward nearby. Hey, this the bubble was the most overpowered you thing in Mega Man 2. Surrounding you in one go. Defeat typically impervious foes and knock out baddies on the other side of walls. You can even jump off them like platforms. Bubbles make it a bit easier to get to those hard to reach places. Bubbles are gonna be Just like that. insane in speedruns. While in drill form, you'll get a pretty nifty drill. This makes dealing with spiky. Yeah, that's cool. Hard headed enemies of breeze. The bubble or does seem pretty cool. To drill down. It also allows you to burrow and okay. move through the ground. So this is a discovery a skill. Spot, There's gonna be a lot of secrets hidden with this one. You can even burrow into the ceiling. Oh man. I was kind of worried that this was going to be just Plus, a, a better looking new Fireball Super Mario Brothers, but this is a lot more than that. Oh, and you can hang on to an extra power up. Okay, like, yeah, that's pretty standard. Bust out a power up. Wow, he's Zowie! them to better fit the situation. What is this wowie zowie thing? I mean, so far the Mario this voice I've heard, it sounds pretty much like Charles. The flower kingdom. It's said they thrive off this world's mysterious power and release it when in bloom. That's the power Bowser was after. When you touch a wonder flower in a course, a wonder effect will trigger causing some interesting changes. Yeah, this is this is pretty cool. 
It looks like it's a very temporary thing, though. The terrain may tilt. It's kind of interesting that they've changed Yoshi's sounds, but also visually Yoshi kind of looks a bit more like um, the Yoshis from the 90s, like it, it, a little bit more chubbier. I kind of dig it. There are even wonders where your character transforms. Like the Yoshi that was in the Super Mario oh, World like artwork. A Goomba? Oh, this is this thing. <laughs> from from Odyssey. Or blow up like a balloon. Yeah, I miss Chubby what Yoshi and I miss flower, Chubby Pikachu. The unexpected. Collect a wonder seed and the course will return to normal. Some courses need to be unlocked using the wonder seeds you've collected. Yeah, this game is just oozing charm and character everywhere. Seed is thanks from a poplin when you clear a course. Badges. As your adventure progresses, you'll unlock in-game badges that change up the way you play when equipped. Okay, I thought it was achievements, yeah. There yep. are a variety of badges, each with its own special ability. Let's go Damn. over some of them. Slow your oh, so the I, one of them was badge. like, yeah. Like Peach's ability. Enhance your wall jumping abilities with the wall climb jump badge. Unleash a burst of speed while underwater by equipping the dolphin kick badge. You can also break underwater that's, blocks. That's kind of smart. Instead of Charge having the characters the the have these badge. ability as part of their character, Shoot now you can just pick and gain it. Walls with the grappling vine badge. Wow. Recover from dangerous drops instantly with the safety bounce badge. Easily find important items using the I think these badge. go beyond that. Draw in nearby Mula with the coin magnet badge. Become invisible to your enemies and yourself with the invisibility badge. <laughs> that you one's just that one's trouble. Jet run badge. And you can run in the air for a bit. There are many more badges with different abilities, from the convenient to the unconventional. Only I like that they've gone some that are double-edged. Equip them from the world map or when starting a course. Or if you don't make it through, grab a different badge and try again. Some, Some of this is definitely going to be stream about. Special badge challenge courses. Go for it. While others can be purchased from Poplin shops on the world map. Be sure to exchange flower coins you collect in courses for badges. Yeah, well. Up to four people can play locally on the same Nintendo Switch system. That's nice. Pretty sound. Yeah, look at Yoshi. Favorite character and jump into the adventure together. If a We're back to like nineties thick Yoshi. Their character will float around the course as a ghost. If another player reaches <laughs> That's like time runs Splunky out, right there. Back into action. Your group won't lose a life either. And just so you know, if someone is playing as a Yoshi, you can jump on their back and ride them around the course. Even if you're that also noise. playing as a Yoshi. Oh, okay. Or if you're an elephant. <laughs> if you connect online, you might see other players on the world. I really like the new Yoshi. Courses. Both visually and from a sound point of view. These are people from around the world, enjoying the game in real time, appearing as live player shadows. Ah, uh, player like shadows. If you're defeated, you can come back to life by bumping into a live player shadow. Players can send greetings and share in-game items. Even though you won't be playing together directly, you'll get to experience a subtle connection with other players Because of course Nintendo can't make a game together. in 2023 where people can, can play together can online. Standee in a course. Standees can revive ghosts. So place them in not so easy areas and help your fellow players. Yeah, I mean, look, it, it's, it's fine. To add more to your I was never going to play this online, but this is just... When I don't know why Nintendo just can't get online play right, ever. You'll see their username and heart points. These points show how much they've helped other players on their adventure. 
reviving ghosts, gifting items, reaching the goal pole together, and more will earn you heart points. <laughs> While playing online, you also have the option of creating a room to get together with friends. But what does that do? Shared room, you can see which courses your friends are playing, enter courses together, and even race through certain courses. Start a race by hitting the race block. Did I misinterpret this? Or are, are you playing together or racing like a shadow? Then make a run for it. This one seems like you're actually playing with friends. Reaching the goal pole isn't the only way to finish a race, though. In some courses, I might have to rewatch this part. Seed, or defeat a boss instead. What the hell? What happened to Bowser Jr.? Casually connecting with players from around the world or syncing up with friends for riveting races. You can enhance your experience with online play. What a beautiful I'm gonna have to listen to that part again. I'm kind of confused as to whether or not it's real people in real time or if it's just like a replay of someone that you download. We'll do it afterwards, so hang on. Oh man, just look at look at everything visually. This looks so nice. Jump into the unexpected with Mario and friends Whoa. when Super Mario Brothers Wow, is out on the Nintendo Switch system October 20th. Plus, yeah, it's not it's not too far away. Uh, of course. Model, Mario Red Edition is also on the way. Those are just red Joy-Cons. You'll find Mario and some hidden coins. The Nintendo Switch OLED mm. model. Is, is anyone Mario really Edition going to get October 6th? Is anyone really going to get a new, a whole new Switch just to make the Joy Cons red? I, d I don't think they even had the Mario symbol on the, the actual Joy Cons. Hang on. Like at, at least the the Zelda one looked pretty cool. This just they just look like red Joy Cons. The dock. Who cares? Anyway, um, I just want to listen to the part about multiplayer again, if you don't mind, chat. Hang on. Like, what did it say? But, yeah, this this looks fantastic. Definitely day one for me. Um, it's cool to see that it's, it's going to be its own thing, because when I saw the release of this, I thought, okay, maybe this might just be new Super Mario Brothers with a new look, but it, it's definitely more than that, so. It's cool, like... There's going to be a lot of things in this game that are going to make me happy. Um, just everything about it looks so nice. And I'll... Okay, here we go. So let me just listen to this. Connect online. You might see other players on the world map and in courses. Okay. These are people from around the world enjoying the game in real time, appearing as live player shadows. Just like in local co-op, if you're defeated, you can come back to life by bumping into a live player shadow. Players can send greetings and share in-game items. Even though you won't be playing together directly, you'll get to experience a subtle connection with other players online as you enjoy this new adventure together. Okay, I get it. It's, it's kind of like how... Um, in the Souls games, you can run into ghosts and stuff. It's more or less that. Um, you can't interact with one another other than the minor ways that they've set out. Um, so, it's in real time, it would appear. It's just not, um, it's not like, yeah, like how it is in New Super Mario Brothers or local play, I guess. It's fine. Um, I don't think I'm personally going to use this feature, but, yeah, I guess it's, it's less as bad as I thought it would be. But, hang on. I want to, there's one part of, oh, right. <sighs> there's like, because I started early. Um, I want the explanation of Yoshi again. I mean, just clicking through it, like the visuals in this, look at that. Wait, <laughs> do those Coopers have roller skates? What? 
All right, skating Cooper's confirmed. I mean, everywhere you, you kind of click through this video, it's just you get. Oh, that that that's a good image right there. <laughs> I want a good shot of, like, Yoshi. But, yeah, I, I guess... They just want to move to a new era, because it looks like... New voice actors are, are gonna be a thing, and, yeah, I mean, y Yoshi visually... Just looks totally different. Like, look, that looks like 1990s Yoshi to me. And the sounds are just completely different. Oh, there's, there's a better image coming up, hang on. A Yoshi. You can jump on their back. Yeah, like, look. And ride them around the course. That, that noise. Even if you're also playing... Perfect. Look at that. Yeah. Visually, Yoshi is more like it was in the 90s. I, I really dig the look. And the sound effect Yoshi is making this time around. Listen listen to the sound effect as he does the flutter. And compare it to what we've been hearing in Yoshi's Crafted World. You can jump on their back and ride them around the course. Even if you're also Yeah, it kind of a cuter sound as opposed to what it was before. It just it sounded like a struggle. So playing as a Yoshi. Or if you're an elephant. There you go. That was that was a that was a clear one. I like it. I really do. So, I'm sure there's there's a lot more... If you watch this trailer a second time, like... I'll probably watch it a second time, just to see stuff that I've missed, but... Yeah, this game looks fantastic. It's definitely gonna be something you'll see here on day one. Too Heavy the Elephant. I do like that Yoshi struggles a little with the elephant. Um, it's not too far away. Uh... And yeah, it's it looks like it's going to be a fantastic 2D Mario title. I haven't really played a 2D Mario title in a very long time. I think you can't really count 3D World. It, it had 2D elements to it, but it was a bit in the third dimension. Before that, it was like New Super Mario Brothers on the Wii. So it's been a while for me. Um, yeah. This looks good. Anyway, we'll, we'll cut it here for the YouTube video. Um, hope you liked listening to me, like, you know, just... <laughs> go crazy over thick Yoshi. Thick 90s Yoshi. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you want to see more of this content, or just want to support the channel, just the thumbs up stuff usually helps and goes a long way. Thank you to those that do do, do that. It's past midnight here. I can't speak English properly. <laughs> but yeah, uh, thanks for uh, watching my reaction thingy. And if you want to watch me play some games, I'm sure two other videos have popped up on your screen. So, hope you do check them out. Until, uh, yeah, I get to play this game, I guess. See you around, YouTube.